Dear friends, today I will try to understand the principle of operation of this engine. Its difference from previous models is the use of long and soft springs. There are several options for its implementation. One of them seemed to me the most interesting. Today I will recreate it for you, my precious viewers. To build this spring engine of free energy, I will make a frame. For the frame, I take a square pipe 20 by 20 millimeters. I need to cut the pipe into the pieces I need. I have given all the dimensions in centimeters. You can see them on your screens. These are all the pipe sections that I will need to create a free energy engine with a spring mechanism. The two longest pipes are the main ones. I need to make markings for mounting the bearings of the free energy generator shaft. I drill holes in the square pipe with a drill with a diameter of 8 millimeters. Right before you rise, I begin to assemble the generator frame. I place square pipes on my welding table. The walls of the pipes are very thin, so I use a semi-automatic welding machine with a wire thickness of 0.8 mm in a protective gas environment. To fix small sections of pipe, I use magnetic corners. The frame design for the free energy generator is quite simple. I tried to make the upper frame as evenly as possible. Now it's time to make the crankshaft on which I plan to attach the springs. I made this shaft in one of my previous videos. Perhaps some of you have already seen it. Well, for those who are watching this for the first time, I will tell you a little. The main part of the shaft is made of durable metal. I welded the thrust rings on the edges to strengthen the shaft and prevent displacement at high speed. I used a shaft with a diameter of 20 millimeters. For me, this is the easiest option. The bearings have an internal diameter of 20 millimeters. I assembled the side parts and small bearings as separate elements. I use a piece of bolt as the axis of the small bearing. To prevent the bearing from shifting, 
I fix the nuts on both sides. I weld plates to them. The end result is elements like these. I welded the elements with small bearings to the shaft. The angle between each element is 120 degrees. At this point, you need to be extremely careful. I tried to weld the elements extremely accurately. Whether the entire mechanism will work depends on this. I need to remove these parts of the crankshaft. Then the springs that I plan to attach to the bearings will rotate freely. To attach the springs, I carefully welded nuts to the bearings. I purchased two bearing supports specifically for this project. They fit the shaft perfectly. I install the supports together with the shaft on the frame of the free energy generator. Now I need to secure it all well. The shaft should be exactly in the center of the frame. Then the springs will do their job evenly. I drilled the holes for fastening the second side of the springs after installing the shaft. The alignment of all the holes is important here. I plan to fasten the springs to the frame using these bolts. The main part of the work is done. It looks very decent. What do you think? Write about it in the comments. Now let's start making the flywheel. For this, I'm using a car flywheel, which I just so happens to have lying around. Since the central hole in the flywheel is very large, I'll make a special adapter for this. See how I did it. If you liked it, please support my channel. Subscribe, like, and leave your comments. I'm very pleased to know that I'm not the only one trying to create a similar mechanism.
I secured this adapter inside the flywheel with four bolts. Now let's install the flywheel on the free energy generator. Let's check how smoothly the flywheel rotates. Yes, it rotates quite smoothly. I think it can be fixed. Let's do it. For this project I also bought six springs. I want to know if it will work. I want to share this with you, my dear viewers, even more. Let's install the springs in their places and finally start testing this free energy generator. Using long springs, as other authors claim, is necessary to create resonance. So let's check it out. Dear friends, finally we have come to the most interesting stage. The engine of free energy with springs and a flywheel is ready. Everyone claims that it works on the resonance of springs. Let's check it out. Wow, this really feels like the real deal. It's starting to accelerate. It's picking up speed. Look at how the springs are starting to vibrate. Can you see that? This is fantastic. I wonder how long this will last. This is so true. The springs actually resonate with each other. This is what makes the motor rotate. This is amazing. Dear friend, thank you for watching my video up to this point. It all looks plausible, but unfortunately it is not. This engine really, as it may seem to you, is gaining speed, but alas, in the next video I will show how I achieved this effect, but there is no point in repeating it. Thanks for watching. See you in new videos.